In this video, we're going to go through the Section 5.1 activity. So in this activity, uh, we have one problem that we're doing about ticket sales. In this problem, we have a concert promoter who wants to book a rock group for a stadium concert. A ticket for admission to the stadium playing field will cost $125, and a ticket for a seat in the stands will cost $175. The group wants to be guaranteed total ticket sales of at least $700,000. How many tickets of each type must be sold to satisfy the group's guarantee? Let X be the number of tickets sold for the playing field and Y be the number of tickets sold for seats in the stands. Choose the correct set of inequalities below. So in these sets of inequalities, I see a lot of things that they all have in common. The second two inequalities are all exactly the same for all four answer choices. They all say x greater than or equal to 0 and y greater than or equal to 0. And the reason for that is because it would not make sense to sell a negative number of tickets. Um, I could sell 0 of one type of ticket, so if I'm not selling any tickets uh, for the stands and everyone is going to have to sit on the field, um, then that would be 0, but I can't have a negative number. So those are all the same in all of my answer choices. Uh, when I look at the first inequality here, I see that I have 125x plus 175y. And so what I'm doing is I'm multiplying the number of tickets of that type sold by the price of the tickets for that type. So each ticket um, for the playing field is $125. Multiply that by the number of tickets on the field sold, and then I will get the total revenue from the field seats. And then I would do the same thing for seats in the stands. Each one is $175. Multiply that by the number of tickets sold, and I get the total revenue from um, seats in the stands. And when I add the two types of tickets together, I want that to be at least $700,000. So at least $700,000 means that it could be more than $700,000 or it could be exactly $700,000, but I do not want it to be less than $700,000. So my correct answer choice here is going to be B, that I want 125x plus 175y to be greater than or equal to $700,000. So I'm going to choose answer choice B here. Now, for question two, I want to graph this on the Desmos graphing calculator. I'm going to graph the three inequalities uh, from question one. Now, we're going to be using the less than or equal to and greater than or equal to symbols here on Desmos. Uh, to type those, you would find the less than and greater than symbols on your keyboard and then type them following um, by, followed by an equal sign, or you can use the keypad to find the symbols too. So we'll go to the graphing calculator, and I'm going to graph x uh, greater than or equal to 0 first. Um, so I'm just typing the greater than and then equals button on my keyboard, and when I hit the equal symbol, it puts the line underneath. So x is greater than or equal to 0, and y is greater than or equal to 0. And what we're looking for on Desmos is the overlap of the shaded colors. So y values greater than 0 are shaded in blue, x values greater than 0 are shaded in red, and where they overlap is where both things are true. So it's this purplish area here. Now I'm going to enter my last inequality, which is this 125x plus 175y is greater than or equal to, I'll show this on the keypad this time, uh, you can see the less than or equal to and greater than or equal to symbols are here. And then that's uh, greater than or equal to 700,000. So I'm going to uh, type that. And um, I can't see it on my graph right now because it's, uh, whoops. Uh, if you try to type 700,000 with a comma, it's going to give you an error message. Um, so if I take that comma away, then it will work. Um, so I, uh, that orange triangle means it's not graphed. Um, I want to see the green. So that means that I'm looking for the green shaded area once I can see it on my graph. So I'm going to change my settings um, to set the x-axis and y-axis to go up to 10,000. And once I do that, um, you can see that I can see the green area here and so where all three colors overlap this is where it gets a little bit challenging to see 
but I can see that the purple and green are overlapping in this section of the graph. So um, there's a boundary line on the y-axis, there's a boundary line on the x-axis, and then this diagonal green line um, is the third boundary. So it's this area bounded by those three lines. So there's my graph. I can um, paste my link or image or both into my notes. Uh, so I'll let you do that. Uh, for question three, we're using the graph to find the x-intercept of the line. So the x-intercept, um, if you don't remember, x-intercept is where um, the line crosses the x-axis. And so that's the 5,600, uh, comma, zero point. Um, so sometimes we write it as a point or sometimes we just write the number 5,600. So this is the... Um, point where the line crosses the x-axis. And what this tells us in the context of the problem is that if we sell only the x tickets, um, and the x tickets are the tickets on the field, so if we sell only field tickets, we would need to sell 5,600 in order to meet the goal. So if we sold zero of the stadium tickets, then we would only be selling the field tickets and we would need uh, 5,600 of them in order to sell a total of um, $700,000 in tickets. Question five, use the graph to find the y-intercept of the line. Um, that's right here, 0, 4,000. Again, the nice thing about Desmos is that we can just click on points and it will tell us what the coordinates are. Um, or, so sometimes we write as a point, sometimes we just write the number, it's 4,000. Um, and then this is the same thing, but with the, uh, if we only sold stadium tickets. Um, or how is it phrased here? Uh, seat in the stands. Then we need to sell 4,000 tickets to meet the goal. And then the last question here says to list three points other than the intercepts that satisfy the group's requirements. So this problem is a little bit unrealistic because obviously there's going to be some kind of limit on how many um, tickets can be sold, like an upper limit. Um, you can't sell, you know, infinitely many. The stadium will only hold so many people, um, but that's not really part of this uh, problem. So anything in this area is going to meet all of the requirements. X is positive, Y is positive, and then it meets this requirement for being um, over $700,000 in revenue. So I like to look at uh, easy points to pick out. So for example, if I look right here, I can see this point 2,000 uh, comma 4,000 is in the uh, area of the overlap, the green overlapped with the purple. And so that's one possible point. And then I can look and uh, pick out some others. I can also see um, that 4,000, 2,000 is going to be a point right here. Uh, that's going to be a point that meets their requirements. Also, 4,000, 4,000 is up here, further away from the line, but that also meets the requirements. So I'm going to put those here. Uh, lots of options. Um, basically, any point with the coordinates in this area works. So 4,000, 6,000, 6,000, 6,000, any of these points up here, all these points, there's literally thousands of possibilities. Uh, but I found three of them uh, that will satisfy the group's requirements of um, resulting in over $700,000 in revenue.